All right, Aquarius, what's going on? I see you slipped down to the fifth position. Still love you guys, though. Still love you guys. Three of Pentacles. We're going to put that back for a second. Didn't ask anything. Sagittarius took over. I'm not even asking any question. I'm not even focused on anything. I'm trying to talk to you guys, and these cards are coming out. So we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Wands. Let's keep that in the back burner. Just for a minute. We may revert back to them. Anyway. It's not going to let me say anything. So, anyway, Aquarius. Something is right now. Something needs to know right now. Something needs to be done right now. What is it? Something needs to be done right now. Something. Somebody could even be interrupting you. Okay. You're going to be finding out something. Somebody's going to be trying to contact you or you're going to find out something. And it's going to be very, very quick, immediate. You know, this could be a number of different things. But whatever it is, it's it's something that's very, very urgent. Okay? I was trying to find out about romantic love, but this is making me do something else. Alright. What is this that Aquarius needs to know? What do they need to know? The moon. It's a seven of swords, and it is in the upright. You are unaware of it, but there is something coming in, something coming towards you. It's going to, like, really, really knock you off, shake you up, but you have no idea that it's coming. Is this good or bad? I don't know. It's kind of making me feel a little bit. Ooh. So let's see. I don't want to. <laughs> let's see whatever this is. And then we'll probably get to romantic love if we have time. Okay. If not, because something, something really, really wants to kind of like go into something. All right. What is this that's coming in? What is it? What is it that's coming in for Aquarius? Five of Wands, Four of Swords. Somebody that you have, you know, pulled your energy back from. Somebody that you have, you know, taken a break from. Now this could be somebody close within your, you know, like close family, immediate family. You may find out that somebody could have, now somebody could have contacted another person through your, through your family. Like if you're trying to get away from another person, they may have done something to reach out to a family member or something like that. You know, and said, hey, um, is so-and-so okay? It's kind of like one of those things, but something is very, very sneaky about it. All right. You know, somebody could be reaching out to you and saying that, you know, let's say you shared a pet with somebody. Or maybe you share a child with somebody, you know. It doesn't feel like it's predominantly what it is, but for some, that's, it is that. You know. However, let's get more into this. I don't feel like that's going to be for everyone. But as far as whatever this is, somebody's going to be reaching out to another person. Or somebody could be trying to reach reach you through a third party. Okay. Or it could even be somebody who's like, you know, somebody could be talking to another person. I'm not, you know, I'm getting something, but I don't want to, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Who is it that is going to reach? Who is it? Who is the person? Who is the person that's going to reach out? Now, remember, this can be vice versa. Somebody, you could be reaching out to another person, okay? We do have 
Cancer energy here. We also have Virgo energy here. And we have the King of Swords here. We have the Knight of Swords. So these are our characters right here. Somebody could find out that another person uh, that you've had dealings with, um, maybe they're sick. Maybe they've fallen off the wagon. You know, somebody could have definitely fallen off the wagon. Somebody could have, you know, I'm getting something about an overdose. I mean, there could be like law enforcement or something like that. Somebody could be kind of reach out to you or talk to you. Don't worry about this. Got the death card and you have the ten of swords. I don't like to go and I give this information and this isn't going to be for everyone. Um, but this is what I'm seeing. Somebody could be reaching out to you. Like or like to a third party or somebody else. Like a person in the inner circle or somebody from a friend or something like I'm getting it again. I'm getting it again. Months ago, I don't know who I was doing the reading for, but I kept getting something about, it might have been on my TikTok lives. It might have been on my TikTok lives. I can't remember. Anybody that's here following me from TikTok, you know, if you remember, just remind me. Because I think it was on my TikTok live. Where I kept, I kept stressing for a couple weeks that somebody needs to um, change the um, emergency contact through like hospital or something like that or insurance okay I do feel like there could be somebody that you know um, that may have been struggling with something and they may have done something so either somebody could have been driving fast you do have this knight of swords you know when this horse is like speeding okay so somebody's like in a very big rush to kind of contact you or somebody could be you know you know, either it's like somebody's like energetically like in a hurry to contact you and say, hey, you know, so-and-so might need you or this is what's going on with this person. This person's sick. This person did something. This person overdosed. They fell off the wagon. You know, they got behind the wheel or whatever it was. Something like that. And this person is um, somebody you used to be very, very connected to. Could still, could they currently be? For some of you, it is somebody that you're still currently connected to. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. I guess I'm going to have to re release these a little bit sooner. I was planning on doing all these readings and then, you know, uploading them for the weekend for the next week. But I guess I might have to kind of like let these out now. have you know other readings ahead of yours too so I have to get working on them then to get them out sooner this looks like something that somebody may, maybe needs to know um this is one of them things where there could have been something that happened okay you got the world here right here something is about to be completed okay now does it have to be something that drastic of course not that's what I'm seeing for somebody, though. I am getting an element of somebody who... Perhaps they may have done something to another person. And they may have some regrets about the way that they treated another person. Now, either that person did something to harm themselves. No, I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's what it is. No. No. Meaning somebody, meaning I don't want it to sound like that, but meaning how like sometimes people will feel so much guilt that they'll start drinking. They'll feel so much guilt because of how they treated another person or they lost a person that they'll start doing drugs. They'll start, they'll fall, you know, they'll get, slip back into old patterns. No. What I'm getting is no, it's not that. This is somebody who probably is sneaky and shady. Okay. You got the moon here. You got the five of wands here. Yeah, the Seven of Swords here is not the best energy. The Hermit in Reverse. This is somebody who 
you know, maybe they said that they were doing something to heal themselves, to help themselves, and they weren't, okay? Do I feel like this is an Aquarius? No, I don't. Um, so many energies that I've been feeling and so many readings that I've been getting, you know, in regards to Aquarius. Now, could it be, a, could this be an Aquarius? Of course it could. But from what I'm feeling, no. And it's because the evidence, you know, from the past. Um... And the energy that I'm feeling right now is that this could be somebody that you are attached to, okay? Because again, like I like I've said before, Aquarius is seem to be the ones that are actually doing the work. Lately, Aquarius is actually doing the work, okay? Now, what I'm also getting is there's going to be a period of certain things, a lot of losses, all right? And it's not for your, it's not to hurt you or harm you. This is what I'm channeling. It's not to hurt you or harm you. It's almost like it's something to kind of like reveal certain things to you so that you can kind of progress on your path. Your readings have been so spiritual lately. Your readings have been so magically spiritual. I'm starting to get... Come on, Aquarius. We're not doing this today. <laughs> okay. It's going away. Okay, good. I don't want to cry. <laughs> what I'm getting is there's going to be a period of like losses. All right. And this can be a stage throughout your awakening where there's going to be certain things that are going to be leaving your life. And some of those things will include a physical death or transition, not of you, but of certain people around you. Okay. And it's because they could be doing something to block you or hinder you. Okay. I hate to make it sound like that, but you know, it's like their time is like, you know, okay, they came here, they did their job, and now it's time for them to move on to their next assignment. And that next assignment may or may not be still attached to this earthly plane. Okay. Forgive me, I'm not trying to sound cold. I'm just trying to, you know, it's just kind of how, like, it is in a nutshell. All right. Um, yeah. So you're going to be experiencing some things. Probably in the next few years. In the next few years, you're going to be experiencing some stuff. You know, just stay strong. Stay strong. Hold tight to the vision. Just know that whatever it is that you're going to, get, going, going to be going through, the end result eventually when it comes to that, you'll be a completely different person through all of this. Okay. But yeah. I don't want to make this um, difficult or anything like that. And for, for a lot of people, it's not going to be that. I don't like, I don't, like to, I don't even like using the word predict. I don't like saying that, but I can't help it. It's here. It is here. Something is here. And it's extremely rare that I actually say that in my readings. So, you know, just prepare. All right. Try to see the bigger picture when it comes to whatever this is. Okay. Make your peace with something. Make your peace with something. Make your peace. That's all I keep getting. Make your peace. Whatever it is, however this manifests, make your peace with something. It's going to, something is going, you're going to learn something. Something is going to teach you. Something is here to teach you something. Okay. I don't want to kind of get into, into exactly what details and everything that is or what that means because it's going to mean certain things, different things for different people. Okay. If you are understanding what I'm saying, then you're not, then you're going to, you're going to fully understand the mission and the assignment. I don't know why I'm saying these words. But you're going to fully understand everything once everything happens. Okay. All right.
I'm just going to leave it there. All right, Aquarius. Stay strong. You guys, you guys are good. You guys are rock solid. Okay. Um, but something is about to wrap up. Something is about to wrap up. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to say anything else. Okay. Because for some, it's, it's going to be, you know, somebody experiencing, not an Aquarius, it's somebody around you. Okay. That could be experiencing something, you know. But it may not be physical. Okay. It can just be very metaphorical. We cannot forget that sometimes these things can be metaphorical. However, all right, and you can, I'm sure you can hear the, uh, the police sirens or the ambulance. I can't tell who, which one it is. You would think I would know. <laughs> I never seem to understand the, the difference between the, the sirens. Okay. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, Stay strong, okay? Now, something wants me to leave it there. Something wants me to leave it there. I hate leaving it like this, but something wants me to leave it there. All right. If you'd like to reach out to me to book a private reading, you know, contact me. You know, you can um, email becomethestar1111 at gmail.com. Or you can um, get, send me a direct message through Instagram, become the star, all one word, all lowercase, okay? Um, I do all my readings through Zoom, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. You know, I don't do text, email, or record your readings and send them to you. I don't do those things. So be careful of scammers. Okay. You always know it's me whenever you book a reading with me because we actually meet face to face through the camera. All right. So be careful, be careful of scammers. All right. That's it. Take this reading however it resonates for you. And um Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're going through if, if you want, you know, and, um, or, you know, kind of keep me up to date, up to speed, you know, let me know what's going on and, um, may everything work out as it should for the greater good of everyone. All right. All right. I'll see you next time, Aquarius. Take care of yourself.